This is your world, and it's wonderful to have legal sex on computer, to use uh, electronic drugs without problems, to have many, many things are coming, and old people cannot adapt. They will just die and be replaced by you. Soon you will see human being improve genetically. Like we can make genetically modified food for better, not for worse we will be able to make also human beings better than they are today. An ethical, an ethical, I don't know what it is. The problem is to give to all humanity medicine and a better future through cloning. And the, the best of all, eternal life. Because you students, young people who are looking at me now, you may, maybe, never die. A cult leader from Quebec was questioned by members of the U.S. Congress today as they grapple with the moral and ethical issues surrounding human cloning. The witness, known as Rael, believes humans were created from the DNA of aliens. But he was invited to testify because along with his bizarre beliefs, he also claims he has the technology to clone a human being. As Adrian Arsenault reports, he says he's ready to use it. We will have it on life. You can have it on life. If uh, cloning uh, is allowed, and it's very important not to block it. What if it doesn't work, though? It will work. Maybe, and that's the problem. U.S. lawmakers are now scrambling to catch up with the science. Please rise and raise your right hand. I'm Assembling an eclectic group of bioethicists, animal cloning experts, and the controversial. Asking, should human cloning be banned? Those that say ban it. Those would not be the Neil Armstrongs that would fly us to the moon. Dr. Zappo says he has a list of 700 people who have signed up. Rael can do one better. Says he and his 55,000 UFO-believing followers have a secret lab, a stockpile of money, and the remains of a 10-month-old baby whose parents want a clone. We'll be done anyway, somewhere, someday, as, thankfully, nothing can stop science. I'm very, very pleased to know that the first baby clone uh, is born. She was born yesterday at 11.55 uh, a.m. in the country where she was born. So this will not give you more details, but the location, she, she's fine. We call her Eve. Are you adaptable? Welcome to Radio Freeman with your host, Freeman. You can get the latest of the occult and sorcery of your government at freemantv.com. With the executive order I am about to sign, we will bring the change that so many scientists and researchers, doctors and innovators, patients and loved ones have hoped for and fought for these past eight years. We will lift the ban on federal funding for promising embryonic stem cell research. You know, at this moment, uh, the full promise of stem cell research remains unknown, and it should not be overstated. But scientists believe these tiny cells may have the potential to help us understand and possibly cure some of our most devastating diseases and conditions. To regenerate a severed spinal cord and lift someone from a wheelchair. To spur insulin production and spare a child from a lifetime of needles. To treat Parkinson's cancer heart disease, and others that affect millions of Americans and the people who love them. But that potential will not reveal itself on its own. Medical miracles do not happen simply by accident. They result from painstaking and costly research, from years of lonely trial and error, much of which never bears fruit. 
and from a government willing to support that work. From life-saving vaccines to pioneering cancer treatments to the sequencing of the human genome, that is the story of scientific progress in America. When government fails to make these investments, opportunities are missed. Promising avenues go unexplored. Some of our best scientists leave for other countries that will sponsor their work. And those countries may surge ahead of ours in the advances that transform our lives. In recent years, when it comes to stem cell research, rather than furthering discovery, our government has forced what I believe is a false choice between sound science and moral values. We will develop strict guidelines, which we will rigorously enforce, because we cannot ever tolerate misuse or abuse. And we will ensure that our government never opens the door to the use of cloning for human reproduction. It is dangerous, profoundly wrong, and has no place in our society or any society. Now, this order is an important step in advancing the cause of science in America. But let's be clear, promoting science isn't just about providing resources. It's also about protecting free and open inquiry. It's said that evolution is caused by adaptation. Are you really ready to take on the new changes that are coming in our uh, highly technologically advanced world? Are you able to see the ancient past as it should be really seen and recognize its connections to today? Many people say to me, Freeman, not everything's a conspiracy. <laughs> I say, well, yeah, it is. When you start to look at the world from another perspective, you realize, well, first of all, the word conspiracy that they're using, they actually mean mystery. They try to tell me, Freeman, there is no mystery left in the world. We've sorted it all out, and we're on track. I'm going to get me a good job. I'm going to move into the future. I'm going to get me a house. At the same time, knowing all of these are foul, knowing that all of these will go astray, because we watch it all happening day by day as the flu and the economics and all of the other things that are stepping in the way of your belief of your future. But do you really know where your present is even at? I don't think so. Because when we start to realize that when we're breaking through this paradigm, when we're starting to understand who and what actually controls the direction of reality on planet Earth, then you start to see Everything is a conspiracy. Everything has been manufactured to create an emotional response out of you. Everything that you think about humanity has been manufactured and placed into your brain. Everything you think about religion, politics, economics has been crafted and placed in your brain. So as we sit and we start to look for solutions, we're trying to understand our world as we see it you'll never find an answer. Because the world as we see it is not the world that we exist in. It is so far beyond what we think of as real. So as we start to f seek these solutions, as we start to find our way through this crazy matrix, we must recognize where we came from, how we got there, and, and where we are. When we start to hear people like Ra'el or Bridget Boussoulet or uh, Dr. Uh, <laughs> Savros discussing their ability to clone human beings and saying that they did it, and let's realize that this was 2000. This was almost a decade ago as Congress brought Ra'el before them to speak about human cloning. Now we have Obama coming out and him saying that they are going to open the federal funding to stem cell research, but that it is profoundly wrong to use this research for human reproduction. And of course, I find that quite a curious note when I actually believe that the first family might be clones themselves. And how unusual was it, as I'm reporting that I think Obama and family are clones, that he would come out and stand up and allow human cloning but standing against human cloning for reproduction. So what does he mean? He's discussing a type of experimentation with human cloning, therefore clone and kill technology. 
There are many things on our plate. There are many things that are coming our way. And I ask, are you adaptable? Are you ready for all these changes? Or will you fight to stop them? <clears throat> now, H.G. Wells said this new world order would come about regardless of people's efforts to stop it and that it would be a good thing for humanity and that many a good person would die fighting against it. Where do you stand? When we start to see and seek solutions plus answers, when we start to unveil the matrix and start to see who's actually in charge and the direction that they're going, we see that life is far more advanced than, than we are ready to accept. <clears throat> 